from 8 Mile, Transformers, CSI Miami, and the brand new smash hit series, Ballers, with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So much more. Please welcome the super talented Omar Benson Miller. <laughs> I just love how you put the twist on Ballers. Ballers, shot callers. Don't get me started. Now, here's the interesting thing. You are so chipper and so um, up first thing in the morning. We, we're applauding you because it's very, you've been tiffing. I have been tiffing. Um, but I was always one of those morning people. My mom never had to wake me up to go to school or anything like that. So, so she never had to call your name like Kevin was suggesting. Omar Benson Miller, get your butt downstairs. She was more of a physical mom, so there was more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> leave it at that. And you grabbing. love Toronto. You filmed here. Love You've Toronto. Love for our city. Love Toronto. I, I, I don't even call it Toronto anymore. What I call it call Toronto. It? Oh, is you don't do the Toronto. No, I don't even give you a Toronto. Or T. I'm like you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> Toronto. <laughs> or the T. Dot. The six? I, I don't really buy into those. Toronto's good enough for me. But you love Drake and he coined it, right? Do you love Drake? I don't know Drake. Oh, you don't? No, oh, I, haven't, guys... I haven't talked to him. And, you know, Drake didn't call me, so we didn't collaborate on the last album. But, He's you know, I didn't take there. it personally. It was cool. He, I didn't, feel like... he didn't like my demo tape. <laughs> <laughs> so was... I feel like he would do well. You know, a little cameo on Ballers. Congratulations on the success. The most highly rated HBO series since 2009, with millions watching every episode, and you just launched this summer. Yes, yes. No, we have, a, we have an all-star cast. We got a... A very relevant uh, uh, topic that we're dealing with overall because people love football and people also love The Rock. <laughs> There's just no two ways what is, about it. What do they it. love about that guy? I mean, is it his charm? Is it his six pack? I mean, really, he's got nothing going for him. Uh, you know what? Uh, you should actually uh, you should recheck yourself <laughs> before you wreck yourself, yes, D. Yes, yeah, he is. Don't know about that. Don't is. talk crazy about the big fella. Is it true that he is just as nice as one would hope? Like, there's no Devo. Persona. As cool as he comes off on screen, he's even cooler in real life. Would he, you tell he me if that wasn't the, the case? Would you tell me? Yeah, I would okay, actually. See, we like I wouldn't tell you on camera, but I would tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we look. For, we're, we're really happy to hear that. And the cast seems like you're having a blast too. So for people who aren't familiar, because you already did, well, you're working on season two. Actually, you got signed on. In two weeks, you start shooting, which is a super fast turnaround. What do you think attributes the success to this show? Would you oh, say, people say it's like entourage for NFL. Would you say that's fair? I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, everybody can make their own assessment of it when you see it, but I think it's just it's it's quality. And the fact of the matter is, is that HBO produces really good shows, they're really relevant shows, and people like what we're talking about because they get to see glimpses of the headlines that you report here in the morning. Mm -hmm. You get to hear the, our fictionalized version of those stories behind the headlines, like the Deflate Gate, for example. Or the like, TNZ you know, style. JPP blowing off his fingers or like a guy holding out for a contract like Des Bryant. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we did on the show ended up mirroring in real life. Yeah, and fascinating. You know, you think what happens to these 20-year-olds that are given multi-million dollar contracts and all this fame and then they're retired and what comes of them after, which is where your character comes in. You yeah. say you're the most real, uh, relatable of the bunch. Yes, yes. I mean, my guy was really, you know, he, you can identify with him because everybody can identify with getting rode by their wife, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for not having, doing enough or, and, and just being a little lost. Yeah. And so he was very, very grounded in reality. And I just, I thank the writers for giving me that, you know, opportunity. It's a hit. So I know there'll be many more seasons to come. And of course, you're here for a great cause. Rally for Kids has been going on for many years now. They've raised millions of dollars for sick kids. Yeah. Why did you want to take part as a celebrity navigator? Well, you know what? Anybody that can't relate and identify with sick children is a robot, I guess. I don't know. Uh, when you actually figure out what's going on, and you guys have this wonderful hospital here, Sick Kids yeah. Hospital, and, and the foundation has raised more than, uh, this, this event has raised more than $15 million for the foundation. And I was a very alive, vibrant kid. I had a great childhood. And when I think that it could be me, you know, sitting in the hospital struggling for my life, not thinking about which ice cream cone to pick or which, playing you know, with your friends. yeah, throwing a football around or playing with some remote control cars, it really touches me. Really does, and you so a good head on your shoulders. You really oh, thank do. Thank you. But so, a lot of people are here. A lot of people are coming in town. You guys Billy gonna see Baldwin, us running around. Mayor Servino, Hill Harper. We got a, we got a, a, an all star cast. You're gonna have fun doing some fundraising. That's for sure. Mark. Believe that. The eighth annual Rally for Kids with Cancer is this weekend, and you can show your support by going to rallyforkids.com for information and of course to donate. And follow Omar at Omar Miller. You left out the Benson. Yeah, yeah, I had to keep it tight. You only get 140 characters. Keep it tight and right. Keep it right. So much. <laughs>
Please come back anytime. I love you. Right now, Jen, over to you. Jen, you got to get into ballers. She, even though she goes, well, she's supposed to go to bed early, she watches every single hot show.